glory be with you. Welcome to the Pharmacy Scene. On our today's lesson, I'm going to explain how to do, how to solve these equations. See that? So, if you are a new member of my YouTube channel, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe a Thomas 16. Well, now look how we are going to find the solution of this problem. How we are going to find the value of the variable x that is involved in this equation. So, look, before you do this problem, you have to look how, how we are going to find the value of x. In what way we are going to describe, we are going to just find the value for the variable in this equation. Is that? So look how I'm going to solve this one. So at the very beginning, we have to describe this in the exponential, simplified exponential form. And it is going to be written as 2 raised 3x. My, I mean, uh, now in order to find a solution of this one, first of all, we have to describe this as this way means that it is written 2 raised 3 into x minus 1 minus 2 raised 3x minus 1 plus 8 that is gonna be 0 is that because you know that the rule of the principle of this one is that for example with the law of an exponential principle or with the law of exponential you know a raised and the whole m we have said what this in general means so many times in my past videos, see that? So you can look, therefore, a raised and the whole m mean a raised n times m. So this is gonna be written as 2 raised 3x minus 3 minus 2 raised 3x minus 1 plus 8, that is going to be 0. And then, in order to find the value for the variable, now we have to take out 2 raised 3x as like this. We have to describe this in the form of 2 raised minus 3 minus 2 raised 3x times 2 raised minus 1 plus 8. That is going to be 0. That. Then finally, let's multiply with the highest power of the exponent this one. So let's multiply both sides by with this value. That. And let's multiply both sides by raised minus 3. So it is going to be this when we multiply this both side now it is going to be what? Now I, th I think we have to multiply with the reciprocal of this one. Is that We have to multiply with the reciprocal not with 2 raised minus 3 we need to multiply this with the reciprocal that is 2 raised 3 because this is negative so we have to multiply with the positive exponent then it is going to be 2 raised 3x is left because this plus this will be 0 and base, you have to take one of the base, this plus the 0, 2 raised 0 mean 1. And minus 2 raised 3x times 2 raised 3 times 2 raised minus 1 mean, now 3 plus negative 1, that's 2, so it is going to be 2 raised 2 plus 8, that's going to be 0. And then if you come to here, now they have the same common, and it is going to be 2 raised 3x into 1 minus 4 plus 8, which is going to be 0. Is that because when we take out 2 raised 3x, what's left here? 1. What's left here? 2 raised 4. 2 raised 2. 2 raised 2 means that's 4. So this is how to simplify this value. Is that and then finally, now from here you can say, let's bring this up and it's going to be 2 raised 3x into that's negative 3 plus 8 which is going to be zero, is that? Then, now again, we have to do this problem. Let's move this on the right. Two raised three x times minus three, which is going to be negative eight, is that? Because when we are moving eight on the right, it is going to be like this one. And now let's divide by both sides by minus three. Two raised three x is going to be what? Minus eight over minus three, which is 8 over 3. So what this means? This is generally given by 8 raised x which is perfectly 8 over 3. So then you can take the logarithm this as take logarithm x is going to be uh, now the logarithm of 8 over 3 to the base 8. Is that? 
the base 8. Because when we change this into exponential, it is going to be like this one. So the value for x is exactly the logarithm of 8 over 3 to the base 8. And this can be again written as x is going to be the logarithm of 8 to the base 8 minus the logarithm of 3 to the base 8. Is that? This is written in the form of this one. And it is finally given as x is perfectly given by logarithm of 8 to the base 8 is 1 minus the logarithm of 3 to the base 8. You can simplify this is more the logarithm of 3 over logarithm of 8 to the base 10. And that is perfectly x is equal to given by 1 minus the logarithm of 3 mean 0 0.4771 over this mean the logarithm of 3 times 2 to the base 10. Is that? And this is exactly 1 minus 0 0.4771 over 3 into 0 0.3001. This one. Is that? And now this is exactly x will be 1 minus 0 0.4771 over 0 0.9030. Is that? And finally, this is given as. Now, because you have to take this is from common logarithm table, is that? And finally, this is written as x is. Now, you can take three cross multiplication. That's going to be 0 0.9030 minus 0 0.4771 over. That is exactly 0 0.9030, is that? And this is exactly when we subtract this, uh, this from this one, and x is exactly given by now this is your this is one we can subtract one from zero directly you have to take one from this and this is going to be 10 so that is well we, uh, nine so this is two therefore it has to just go from this side and it is going to be 12 and 12 that is five and this is already nine nine minus two is perfectly two and this is only 8, 8 minus 4 is, that's 4, is that? 4, so 0 0.42 over 0 0.9030. 0. And x is exactly 4259 over 9030. So this is the value for x, is that? So this is all about our, our tourist lesson. If you are a new member of 